गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन टू गेम माई टॉपिक इज विजुअल रिहेबिलिटेशन ऑफ यूनिलेक्ट्रल सर्जिकल एफिकिया अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ डॉक्टर विजय भास्कर सर सर्जिकल एफिकिया सर्जिकल सर्जिकल रिमूवल ऑफ क्रिस्टल एंड लेंस इट्स मेनली ऑफ टू टाइप्स पीडियट्रिक एफिकिया मेनली द चाइल्ड इज केप एफिकिक अप अंटिल टू इयर्स ऑफ एज और एफिकिया इन एडल्ट कैन बी गिव टू ट्रॉमा सब्लेक्शन और डिसलोकेशन कॉम्प्लिकेटेड कैटरेक्ट सर्जरी और नॉन एवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ रिसोर्सेस लाइक सेकेंडरी एवल्स देन फीचर्स ऑफ एफिकिक आईबॉल इट कैन बी एनाटोमिकल और फिजियोलॉजिकल एनाटोमिकल फीचर्स मोस्ट इट्स डीप एंटीरियर चैम्बर एरिकोनिस विल बी देर पीपल इज जेक्ट ब्लैक इन कलर एबसेंस ऑफ थर्ड एर फॉर फोर्थ पर्क इंडिया इमेज एबसेंस ऑफ लेंस फ्रॉम पैकुलर फोर्सा फंडस एग्जामिनेशन डिस्क अपियर स्मॉल रेक्नोस्कोपी रिवल्स हाई हाइपोमेट्रोपिया एंड लीनियर स्कार विल बी देर एट द लिम्बस In physiological features, eye becomes highly hypermetropic. Total power of eye reduces to plus forty-four diopters. Anterior focal point becomes twenty-three point two mm in front of the cornea. Posterior focal point is about thirty-one mm behind the cornea. The two principal points are almost at the anterior surface of the cornea. Nodal points are located about seven point seven five mm behind the anterior surface of the cornea. Uh, uh, they'll be against the rule as to maximum uh, absence of accommodation. uh binocular vision will be lost uh and uh, modal lickes for correcting unilateral aphasia uh, spectacles contact lenses uh, uh secondary eye implantation and refractive corneal surgery uh, spectacles uh, optical uh principal uh, is to correct the error by convex lens of appropriate power uh, spectacle prescription has been uh, uh, of the plus 10 adapters lenses are used then cylinder uh, is also given uh, a plus 3 to plus 4 adapters is added for near vision advantages that cheap easy and safe method uh, uh, uh disadvantages image magnification for one adapter uh, of convex power there will be a 3% magnification so if uh, a 10 adapter uh, convex uh, lens is uh, used then there will be a magnification of around 30% uh, and difference of image size between the two uh, eyes of more than 7% will be intolerable then uh, this will give rise to diplopia uh, like uh, the object will be appear smaller from the normal eye and larger from the fakic eye uh, they also appear uh, falsely closer than reality uh, and so uh, mostly they are not used uh, and uh, uh, they also because of the prismatic effect uh, they uh, give rise to ring scotoma okay uh and also uh, jack in the box phenomenon is again because of the uh, prismatic effect of the edge of the lens uh, uh pin cushion effect uh, that is also because of the prismatic effect of the edge of the uh, lens that is uh, the edge appears uh, lengthening uh, then uh, the visual field will be restricted to 50 degree all around color vision uh, will be impaired uh, then uh, Uh, eyes uh, there will be cosmetic impact like eyes will appear larger and thick uh, and heavy glasses uh, then contact lens uh, it is a treatment of choice who are unsuitable for eye lens implantation uh, uh, contact lens provide less image magnification that is 5 to 7 percent advantages they have less magnification no chromatic aberrations no uh, prismatic effect wider field of vision cosmetically acceptable better for unilocular aphics disadvantages more cost cumbersome to wear corneal uh, complications will be there and foreign body sensation will be there uh, contact lens uh, various options are uh, rgp lenses hydrogel lenses silicon elastomers and scleral lenses tinted lenses also then iol secondary eye implantation that is implantation of iol previously in previously operated eye to correct aphasia uh, uh, indications will be complicated cataract surgery congenital cataract uh, removal uh, in children and traumatic aphasia 
many advantages little or no uh, image magnification no spherical or uh, prismatic uh, aberration minimum or no anisoconia normal visual field cosmetically well accepted just advantages will be dislocation can be there uh, uh, posterior capsular opacities can be there it requires qualified surgeons cost will be more uh, options will be uh, uh, P, uh, uh, PCL in the back or ACL or iris cloyal or SFL, either by suture or YMN technique. Uh, ACL has uh, largely fallen out of review because of various complications, uh, corneal complications. So mainly in Africa, if we have intact sulcus, we'll put sulcus IL. If no sulcus, then an adequate iris tissue is present, then we can go for cloyal. And if there is inadequate iris tissue, we can go and uh, there is no glaucoma, then we can go for uh, uh, sutured SFL. And if uh, there is inadequate iris tissue and the patient is likely to have uh, developed glaucoma, then uh, we can go for uh, Yemen technique uh, SFL. Then refractive corneal surgery, like is character of fakia, lentil prepared for donor cornea is placed between the lamella of patient's cornea. Uh, and epi character fake here, that is uh, a lenticule prepared from donor cornea stitched over the surface of the patient's cornea after removing the epithelium. That's it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Dr. Sonali. Yes. Uh, Sonali, uh, I mean, you, the, the, the topic was uh, correction of. Uh, FAK, right? Yes, sir. And you had only four minutes. Uh, so so probably uh, you spent quite a lot of uh, time on uh, uh, FAK as such, uh, the optical effects of FAK and all. So, so that was something that uh, you need not have because uh, it, it took a lot of time uh, for your presentation. And... Uh, uh, you oh, you could have actually uh, taught us something on how how you would uh, go about uh, calculating IOL power uh, in these cases. Uh, so oh, can you please tell me, like, uh, you have a case of uh, FAQ, uh, and how are you going to do the IOL calculation? What are what are your options uh, uh, that are there? Uh, what would what would you you do? What would be your choice for uh, in a case of FAQ? Sir, if we have to put the IOL in sulcus, then uh, between plus seventeen point five for diopters to twenty eight uh, diopters, we have to reduce the uh, power by uh, minus one. Like, no, for, so first of all, first of all, how will you how will you do it? How are you going to uh, do the IOL power calculation? Sir, I started the formula, sir. Mm, and you you uh, you're going to uh, even, use even molecule, water... uh, one uh, formula can be used sir no you have your anyway you're not going to uh, use the contact uh, uh, ultrasonic biometry you will be using your immersion biometry would uh, would there be you would you be adjusting something in the system uh, when you're uh, 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 checking uh, the axial uh, we have to change the A constraint, sir, for mm -hmm. iris cloyals. Like 115, we have to go it. It's not not uh, uh, not for uh, all iris cloyalenses. So, see, there are uh, different types of iris cloyalenses. The one uh, from uh, uh, upper Sami has got an angulation. One from Exoloptics doesn't have an angulation, so oh, the effective lens position will be a different in these. So the A constant uh, for each IOL is different. So and uh, iris claw is just uh, one of the options. Uh, and uh, you you said regarding uh, the power that uh, you the adjustments uh, uh, that you do. Uh, when you're putting in the sulcus or in the back, uh, uh, can you please uh, uh, come again on that? Uh, yes, sir. For uh, sulcus, uh, uh, we have to reduce it between plus 17.5 to 28 diopters. We have to reduce it by uh, minus one diopter. No, you'll have to uh, 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 refer that again because uh, uh, it, uh, for, for the whole range, it is uh, uh, not that. 
ஒர்க்ஸ் <laughs> this symposium like uh, everyone is presenting on uh, the different surgical techniques and uh, uh, so so that is that is something uh, just uh, uh, correct it uh, next time okay yes, yes, okay thank you dr samresh you are on mute yeah all right yeah so a uh, couple of things one i mean like sir said dr shrini said uh it was a little bit you know building up the story was building up and that's what consumed time for you so because your topic is very very focused it could have been a little more shorter but otherwise you did justice to the surgery part i have a general uh, you know comment for most of the presentations over here is because you are you are presenting as teachers and you no know, and you will hold the audience you are not in very near future you going to be on the podium and dies and talking about it slides which have write up material are very you know sleepy people will disconnect in one second okay so i would rather say you put images and you can you have your phones click images in your clinic of biometry happening if a patient thick glasses but an image is very you know capturing to the mind and it holds your attention and the write up puts you to sleep so you know just you know as a friendly advice i never put any slide not a single write up on any of my slides and it's worked so far for me so i would encourage all of you to do that yes sir now, now the second thing is uh, what what i have for sulcus i wanted to know sulcus same uh, pcl sir we can put rigid what iol what iol what is the iol of choice for sulcus implantation 3p iol sir why why not a single why not a hydrophobic lens in the sulcus it uh, induces less uh, inflammation sir why very specifically why uh, because of the haptic design it's very important to know because sometimes yes, you will end up in a situation where you have a pcr or you have an fakr surgically induced and you have a sulcus please don't make the mistake of putting a single piece lens uh, or a thicker hydrophilic lens or something like that because you will end up in trouble and i think it's a very key message to drive across one more surgical point i wanted to know is when you fix when you do an iol suturing or yamane technique uh, where do you place it what is the when you, because it's management of fakr what is the distance where you fix it how do you find out where you want to fix the lens sir it's uh, one to two mm behind the scleral spur sir how do you find out scleral spur in surgery i am sitting on the top operating with a microscope so how do i know where i have to fix the lens it's a very gray area there so have you seen a, a, a scleral fixation video yes sir 2 mm from the limbus yes so from the limbus 1.9 to 2 mm from the limbus because yes, that is where mostly you are in the junction of the pars plana pike pars plica area so you know your chances of inflammation are less so it's very important also if you, i mean it would be nice to see a surgical video of you know maybe even a 10 second 20 second clip would have done 
you know, a little more flavor to the presentation, but otherwise on the whole, it was very comprehensive. Yes. Thanks. Thank you. Sir. If, you if you don't have, you said that you, you said three piece are all, you don't have a three piece are all. Hmm. And so yes. I said, uh, uh, you, oh, oh, it's, it's because of those square edge thick haptics uh, that, that, uh, uh, see what happens is uh, the iris keeps on rubbing on it. It causes the inflammation. The iris uh, 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 pigment release. Uh, you have secondary glaucoma. All all those uh, uh, not in all cases, but uh, uh, many of the cases uh, get it. So so what what other option uh, if you don't have a, a three piece IOL? We can do a surgical PI, sir. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking about uh, IOL. What other IOL? We can put a PMMA lens. If it's not available, we can box it. Mm, that's what I asked. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. No issues. No issues. Like uh, uh, you uh, just just be a, I mean, you, you know most of the things. Uh, just be a bit more uh, uh, prepared. Like uh, it, 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 take it as a, uh, a learning uh, 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 experience uh, of summary. He's a wonderful presentation uh, presenter. Uh, you should see him present. When he, he captures you like uh, all those points you take and uh, uh, next time uh, uh, you can uh, we will see you on uh, AOS uh, teachers tomorrow right yes sir okay, okay. thank you sir okay.